It's good that they're finally taking down this old, dead, creepy old tree. Yeah, it was gonna fall down any day now. Not enough! It barely moved! And you know what's even better? With the dead tree gone, this sapling will be able to grow and thrive. Yep, just another example of God making all things new, even in the face of death. Well, our work here is done, and I think we learned a valuable lesson today. <sighs> What's the matter, Ruby? You don't think God makes all things new? Yeah, I know God does, Gabe. It's just in the slowest, least efficient way possible, that's all. Um, is there a rush? Seriously, give it some gas! See, this tree is a great example. The dead tree comes down and then a new tree grows in its place, but it has to grow and grow. And grow. And grow. Why doesn't God just make the tree fully grown right away? Seems like kind of a waste of time. A waste? Of time? Well, I don't think it's a waste of... Look, Gabe, I get that God is all about making things new, but at this rate, it's going to take forever. Well, the world is pretty big. You know who could make the world new quicker? My maid and butler! You have a maid and a butler? Of course, the gardener can't do everything. And they are the best. Seriously, Gabe, they work wonders. A room can be so messy one minute. Bye, maid. Bye, butler. You're great. And by the time I get back, they've made it completely new. Eee! Ruby, you're just describing cleaning and straightening up. I really don't know what either of those things are, but go on. God making a new heaven and a new earth isn't the same as cleaning up the old one. God doesn't wave a magic wand to make things new. This dead tree isn't going to be replaced by the exact same tree. A new tree will grow. Or maybe some shrubs or a, a river might spring up. A river? That would be super inconvenient. My point is, God will make a new heaven and new earth because God is making all things new. It may not be on a schedule we can understand, but we know it's happening. Well, brand new things are pretty cool. Okay, I'll give God a pass on this one. God's craftsmanship is pretty great after all. But this, I cannot be patient about. I'm gonna go get my maid and butler. Thank you.